Folks, we get to talk about the Nintendo Direct today because it appears we now know 100% for sure when the damn Nintendo Direct is happening. Now, it's important to note Nintendo has not officially announced the exact date of the Direct, but it, we don't really need to wait very long for that to happen. Based on the information we're about to present you today, we have some leaks, some rumors, whatever you want to call these things, but these I, this seems pretty much a for sure locked-in deal. Today, we know it when the direct is going to happen that's pretty exciting and you know what's also exciting watching you guys comment down below i've really been enjoying some of the comments you guys have been leaving so uh before we dive in i want to one remind you that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers i'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe to the channel if that's something that you want to do but more than that i want you to go down into the comments below and tell me what your top five RPGs. I don't care if they're JRPGs, Western RPGs, turn-based, tactical, uh, live action. None of that really matters to me. Just what are your five favorite RPGs? Go ahead and put them down in the comments below. And let's go ahead and dive into this because, folks, the Direct's happening on June 18th. Let's just cut through the BS. We're going to go through all the information on how we know it's June 18th. But yes, it looks like it's happening June 18th, right around 9 a.m. Central Time, which is a standard time for directs to happen when they do happen in the morning. First, we obviously have the details from our last video on this. And again, this is important just to remind you because we're stacking the evidence, right? We have more and more evidence. We're just going to keep stacking it up. And this is the evidence. Number one was the Among Us shadow drop. This was a post that was up for a little bit it is down now but you can see in the url 618 among us shadow drop of new content was a thing that was supposed to happen there was even a trailer that went along with it all of it's offline right now it was supposed to be shadow dropped on june 18th okay fine that was our first real indicator of the 8th but more stuff has come up suggesting that the direct is happening extremely soon what other thing are we talking about? Well, how about the fact that Beyond Good and Evil 20th Anniversary Edition had a PlayStation 5 trophy update and also a 1.01 .01 patch appear on the literal PlayStation servers? Now, remember, this game was originally, as it says here, supposed to launch in early 2024 and, yes, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, again, that doesn't specifically mean that it's happening on Tuesday, but it does certainly sound like, oh, well, this didn't even make it into Ubisoft's forward. Could it be because it's being put into the Nintendo Direct? Well, that seems like a high possibility because the first, you know, if you want to say leaker, rumor, something to come up that it's happening on June 18th is, well, from this guy, Choctopus, Nintendo Direct, June 18th at 10 a.m., which he notes is Eastern Time, which is 7 a.m. Pacific, which is, again, 9 a.m. Central Time. Now, who is Choctopus? Have you never heard of him? It's okay if you haven't, but uh, let me just show you who he is. He is a fairly large YouTuber, definitely a lot larger than me. 767,000 subscribers. His videos here do really, really good stuff. You know, hundreds of thousands of views. The guy obviously is big into Nintendo. You can see the Geno, the DK, the Mario, the Charizard. You can see his Nintendo-based content galore here. Sonic, Mario, you get the deal. The guy likes what he likes. Pretty cool stuff. Now, obviously, how would he have any possible access uh, to the date. Well, it'd be the same reason that someone like myself can maybe get some access. And that's just by going to various events, whether it's E3, whether it's Summer Game Fest or PAX or any of these events where you end up meeting developers and developers sometimes you get friendly with. They like you. They like your content. They like your personality. They share with you some details and then they tell you if you can put those details on public or not. And yeah, that would pretty much be how Choctopus would know. He's not someone who has typically leaked a lot of things, so he does not like he has a huge track record on this. But I wanted to put it up there because he was the first person to literally say the 18th could have obviously been a guess right like guesses happen uh the 18th is as likely of a day as pretty much any other this month but somebody who does have a track record somebody who is a literal video game journalist and was with a media pass at summer game fest playing games and talking to developers behind the scenes He's also somebody who's the lead headline getter for the Switch 2 delay. We're talking about Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa, otherwise known as Brazil. And over on Boards, he dropped the bomb. 
So it says that Nate said the poll was just a poll and Brazil said the tweet wasn't a hint because he put out some tweet and he notes it wasn't a hint of Metroid. He was saying his poll wasn't trying to hint at Metroid. And he says it's Tuesday in the morning. What's Tuesday in the morning exactly? What thread are we in? What's Tuesday in the morning? What could we what could we possibly be looking at? Oh, the Nintendo Direct speculation thread. Yeah. Brazil just said it's happening Tuesday in the morning. Now, notably, the reason I put Choctopus first is he was the first person to say it. PH Brazil is really the real guy behind all of it uh, that makes us believe that this is happening. Look, it's only a few days away. It'd be very strange if Nintendo delayed a Direct at this point. They previously announced it for this month. I'm pretty... I, I, it's interesting because we haven't had any uh, leaks from PRO. The bird hasn't sang yet. There's obviously still some days. You know, we have today, tomorrow, and Monday before the direct would happen for the bird to sing if he wants to. That's assuming that he still has sources. I don't know. Some people think his sources have been busted. I just sit back and go, it doesn't really matter to me. We'll see if he if he sings or not. But this does lead us to, well, being really excited for this direct. Look, I've obviously been excited anyways. And I noted earlier, and, and this is something I wasn't planning to show in the video, but I figured, you know what? Why not show you Stealth, our good buddy Stealth over on Twitter, so that I fully committed to there being a Nintendo Direct on Tuesday. I cleared my schedule. He obviously knows he doesn't have any information. For some reason, he just had a good feeling about Tuesday. And I said, now this is the commitment I like to see to hype it irresponsibly love it. And you know what? That's what's happening today with this news landing. Obviously, Nintendo has not announced a Direct as of this video for Tuesday the 18th. But you know what? I'm now going to be like stealth. I'm just presuming it's happening Tuesday. My headline is presuming it's happening Tuesday. My thumbnail is presuming it's happening Tuesday. The hype is real. Whether or not this is the final Nintendo Switch dedicated Direct, whether or not this Direct ends up being the greatest Nintendo Direct of all time or an epic disappointment, I don't care. I am so excited to finally have Nintendo drop news. Now, technically, if you want to be skeptical, you can say, well, Nintendo hasn't announced it for the 18th. Also, we don't really know if it's going to be a general direct. Watch it be a partner showcase. Or maybe you're in a Nintendo direct mini. Oh, yeah, get out of here. I didn't mean literally leave. Come on. Come back to me. I, I didn't say actually walk away. That was a little awkward. Look, guys, I am so excited for this damn Nintendo Direct. You have no idea. Here's the thing. Furukawa teased this Direct like two months ago. So it's got to be a general Direct, right? If Furukawa, the top dog at Nintendo, is teasing this thing two months early, it's clearly got to be a general Direct. We have not had a general Direct. I... I, look, 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 I cross my heart, hope that I stick a needle in my eye. We have not had a general Direct in nine months. Nine! Let that sink in. Let that sink in a little bit. It's been nine months since we've had a general direct. So yeah, I'm a little hyped. I, I Look, we talked already about predictions. We did a bingo on our podcast last week. If you want to go check that out, we'll put a podcast clip, I think, of today of the Nintendo Direct bingo. Look, there's just so much happening right now that I am beyond ecstatic over this Nintendo Direct news. And when we think about, you know, the potential of seeing Dragon Quest and, you know, whether we see Among Us or the Beyond Good and Evil 20th anniversary stuff that's been teased out there... Or, you know, Donkey Kong, right? We could see Donkey Kong. We could be seeing Metroid Prime 4, if not 1 and 2. We could be seeing some sort of Zelda game. We could be seeing Mario Party. We could be seeing a lot of different stuff. Lots of surprises. Pushmo. I don't know. Push no beats me. I just know that there's a Nintendo Direct happening sometime in the next two weeks. But you know what? It looks like it's happening Tuesday. The hype is freaking real. So at this point of the video, I want to ask you another question to go comment on down below. Where are your hype levels at? for this Nintendo Direct. I don't know how you want to rank those levels. I don't know if you want to do it out of a five-star rating, right? Five-star being extreme. One being, wow, you know what? Pitter-patter-poo. I don't care about what the Nintendo Directs do. I think I made that work. I don't know. Well, what I will say is, guys, I do believe a few things are true for this upcoming Direct. One of them that it is happening on the 18th. But the other thing I believe to be true 
is this is going to be the final direct dedicated to Nintendo Switch. Now, when I say that I'm talking about general directs, I'm not saying there will be other partner showcases in Indie Worlds, but I think the next general direct, which would generally happen in September, that's when Switch 2 time is going to begin. So, I want to take the next few moments here to just talk about my fond look back on Switch. I know we're not at the end of life of Switch yet, and we'll have a proper send-off video as we get really close to Nintendo's next-generation system launch, you know, after they announce it, after they tell us when it's going to come, and when we're in that final week lead-up. That feels like the right time to do a proper farewell to Nintendo Switch. But for right now, this Nintendo Switch generation has meant so much to me. First, I'm going to talk about it in the general sense as a gamer. As a gamer, uh, this reinvigorated my passion for gaming. Now, I always have enjoyed gaming, and I've been gaming for 30-plus years, but my biggest thing is why this reinvigorated is it gave me my time back. So I'm a parent, right? I got three kids. I, my oldest is 13 years old, so I've had children for quite some time. And because of that, gaming with a traditional console on a TV became harder and harder with the more children and the more responsibility, and I can't always find the time to just sit on the couch and play video games. It, it, it's very difficult at times. So what Nintendo Switch did is while I wasn't a huge handheld gamer before, it enabled me to take console level Nintendo games and some third parties and play them anywhere. And what that did is enable me to get time back to game. Time that I had before, but never had the means in which to do triple a style gaming and yeah i know there's lots of options for this today whether it's steam deck or the rog ally or the many others that are out there but for me it's really where it started in 2017 with nintendo that was my first and only option really at that time to game like this and it's still legally the only option to play the nintendo games so i'm just really excited about the way in which switch changed my life and gave me gaming back like i missed it man i was really missing gaming i barely even played zelda games before it's about the only games i could fit in my schedule for a bit until switch came out so from a gaming perspective i owe a lot to nintendo switch for reigniting my passion because yeah now i have as my kids have gotten older found a little time to play some playstation right i found a little time to sit in front of the tv but you know what i'm going to be doing when i'm on the flight going to my cruise next week i'm going to be playing the thousand year door right on my switch it's pretty badass right got a four hour flight got a three and a half hour flight back we got waiting rooms and waiting times and hour-long uber rides coming up i'm gonna be playing thousand year door baby like that is so cool to me that i live in a world where a game that came out in my childhood like 2004 is back and before i would have to sit in front of a tv and wouldn't be able to take it with me and now i get to play an updated console level hd experience on the go for all this time that i'm going to have coming up to play when i wouldn't have been able to do that before i i to me that's just the you know the great thing about switch and then you can come home and plop it on a dock and boom you're on the big screen and keep the adventure going man the switch has just been a magical generation and then you get into all the different games and how so many of my favorite ips have gotten in my opinion, my favorite entry in that IP on Switch. I mean, it just it just keeps going and going and going. Uh, Nintendo's consistent release pattern of games, uh, a lot of old ports that I actually really enjoy, remasters I really enjoy, brand new stuff, the third-party games starting to come around and come back. It's just really been a joy. Uh, and I want to thank Nintendo uh, for being bold enough to attempt this direction in gaming and obviously hitting a massive home run especially for me. The Wii U gave me a little bit of it back, but I still couldn't take it outside the home. Um, this really increased my availability to play games again. So thank you to Nintendo uh, for the Switch. It's been awesome as a gamer. Now, when I turn this around and just talk about a broader scope, obviously the Nintendo Switch generation is when I really started this YouTube channel. Uh, I, you know, we, we did have um, an unboxing video or something way back in the day, but we weren't really doing this channel seriously until 
Uh, I would say, I mean, the channels existed for long before 2017, but we didn't start doing anything seriously on the channel until the second half of 2017 uh, is when we really started to get into some content. So almost at the very beginning of the Switch generation. And little did I know uh, back then when I you know, lost my job at Zelda Informer and then uh, I was working other jobs, I was doing roofing and IT at the time, uh, that I would be doing this YouTube thing on the side and it would literally by the end of the nintendo switch generation be my job uh be my career i'd be able to take care of my family by talking passionately about video games and 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 doing live streams i i, I wasn't even live streaming back then like what the hell is a live stream i'm doing live streams you know multiple times a week and chit chatting with similar passionate people about video games and about the latest news and and, and just having fun together you know we'll we'll do things like you know take shots and stuff on uh, those night streams because it's adult time and we just have a lot of fun as a community and come together um you know we struggle together we we rise together, you know, uh, it's been no secret. And this is, I think the first time I've talked about it in a video, uh, but this stuff is completely public information at this point. Uh, my grandfather only has a few weeks to live. Um, he is currently at my parents' house on hospice. And uh, we've known that this was probably the end uh, about a week ago. So it's been a really, really heavy heart. Um, and he's, you know, it, it, it's, it's tough and we're not going on vacation and there's a good chance that he's going to pass away while we're on vacation. We leave on June 20th. We're not back until basically July 1st. Uh, and yeah, there's a really good chance my grandfather won't be there when I get back. So it's going to be a very emotional goodbye because it possibly is goodbye forever. Uh, when I go visit him one more time before we go and it's been, um, I bring all this up because, you know, some of you guys that watch my live streams were aware of this and you guys have been very uplifting and, and, and very kind hearted. Uh, and it's a, a nice reminder of what we've built here on YouTube over the last, you know, six, seven years as a community. We've just been there for each other. Um, and, and the ways in which I've been there for some of you guys, I, I don't even understand. Uh, we did a video uh, earlier this year about how I got bullied in person at a store with my children present for being a Nintendo fan. You guys should go watch that video. I didn't realize at the time that I made that video, I thought I was just sharing an experience I went through and how I dealt with it to help other people maybe deal with situations if they come up with it in hopefully a better way. And it, it turned out that that actually resonated with a lot of people and made people feel better about their situations in life. And I didn't know that's what was going to happen with that video. And I found that out when Saffron City TV uh, came on the podcast for the very first time and told me to my face live on the show how much that video meant to her. I didn't realize that that's the sort of impact that this channel has at times on others. And it's not just that video. It's many other moments throughout channel history. I've had my highs and my lows and made my mistakes and done my stupid stuff and had a, tons of deserving criticism and all of that. But through it all, you guys have mostly been there raising me up saying, nah, you're my favorite content creator. You know how much it really makes me smile when people say that? Not because I think I'm actually better than any other content creator out there. I think almost every content creator that's on my podcast is better than me, right? Uh, that's why I invite them on because I feel like, you know, I want to invite people that are inspiring me onto my show uh, so you guys can have a higher grade of quality on, on my channel because I don't, you know, I think I'm good enough at least to do this, but I have a long ways to go. So, uh, this all happened during the Switch generation, and uh, Switch has enabled me to help create this community with all of you guys, and and, and it's brought me so many uh, new faces, and, you know, I actually have a bucket in the back of fan mail, because we used to have a P.O. box for a bit during this generation. I have handwritten letters from fans, and, you know, a lot of times when you hear that stuff, you're thinking, oh, it's a bunch of kids. Now, these were handwritten by adults, people in the military, um, and beyond, like people just handwriting me, a, a, an adult letters, um, being very passionate about the things that they're going through in their life and how my videos, even though I'm just talking news and video games are helping them through it just through 
because they can live through my vicarious, you know, they can live vicariously through my passion, I guess is uh, what I'm trying to say, because not everybody has this energy still uh, when you're at my age or you have serious injuries or mental deficits or other things you might be going through in life that I can only barely comprehend. Heck, if it's depression, that I know probably the best, but man, dude, um, this generation created this community. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with the next generation of Nintendo. If we just started over the last year and a half being able to do this full time, imagine what's going to happen, you know, years down the road. If we keep this thing going and we keep building together what we're going to be able to do, not just in giving back to the community, which we've definitely done that, uh, not just in donating the charities, which we've also done that, but just in terms of, hey, we might be able to provide actual employment for other people that are looking for jobs because I might need a full-time video editor one day, or I want might want a sound technician, or maybe I just want another person to post videos with me. Uh, you know, open up new channels and create new opportunities for others and build a real you know business over here out of this stuff. But then on top of all of that, um, what's going to happen between you guys and gals and me? How are our live streams going to keep improving? How are we going to keep having, you know, these real conversations that oftentimes do happen on the lives? People coming to me with, with, with things they're going through um, and just looking for a, a, a smile, right? Like how much can like a, a smile, like someone just giving you a smile, make a difference in your life. I just thank you. This switch generation has meant multiple different things in my life. And now my family gets a happier dad, <laughs> gets a happier person because now I get to do something I love for a living. Yes, it's time consuming. Yes, it's a lot of hard work. But no, I don't have to miss any of my kids' events or any of their practices. And I'm always here when people need me. You guys made that happen. The Switch tangentially made that happen. So what a great generation it's been. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. This direct, baby. Let's go! Yeah.